In today's video, we are going to talk about elementary OS versus Linux Mint. So first of all, I'll start with elementary OS. This is the user interface of elementary OS and this is how it looks like. Well, we have some of the utilities and power option on the top right corner and then in the middle we have time and date and we also have all the notifications of the system in here as well. As you can see, we do not have anything in here. And then we have an application button at the top left corner. From here, you can access all the applications into your system. And in terms of desktop environment, Elementary OS uses Pantheon desktop environment, which is based on GTK3. Now I'll talk about the package management. Let me open my terminal in here. I'll go to my application and I will just look for my terminal. Here it is. Well, the package manager in our elementary OS is APT because elementary OS is based on Ubuntu. That is why we use APT package manager in here. So if I write here sudo apt install or if I write here sudo apt update, it will update my system and it will use APT package manager. And now if I talk about the release cycles of elementary OS, well, elementary OS follows the rolling release. It means you will have all the latest things by no time whenever they get released. On the other hand, we have some Linux distribution that follows LTS rolling release. It means long term support. But in order to have everything latest into your elementary OS, you do not need to download the latest version. You just need to keep updating your Linux distribution and you will have everything latest. So that was all about the release cycle. And now let's see how much and what applications we have in elementary OS available. So if I just click on my applications, so these are all the applications that are available by default. We have some of the utilities like calculator, calendar, camera, and then we have some other applications like web videos. We do not see a lot of applications like we do not have Mozilla Firefox, VLC, Thunderbird and we do not have any document manager like we do not have LibreOffice. This is the application center of our elementary OS if you just click on this one. So from here we can download and install a lot of applications that we need or we require for our use. So these were some of the applications that are available in here and if you keep scrolling down it will show you more and more and these are some of the categories that you can go through. For example, if you want to download something related to your accessories, audio, communication, you just need to go to these categories and you will be able to download all the required applications. I'll just close this one and now I'll open my terminal and let's see how much resources this Linux distribution is using at the moment. So this is my terminal and I will just write here top hit enter while at the moment it is using around 870 megabytes of RAM. These are not much hardware resources in terms of hardware usage. So it shows that elementary OS is not heavy on the hardware resources. And here we have all the information about processes and how much resources each process is using at the moment. I'll just close this one and now if we talk about the required hardware resources to install this Linux distribution into your hardware, I would say you need 4 GB of RAM and 20 GB of hard disk space in order to have better and smoother experience using this Linux distribution. And that was all about the elementary OS. Now let's move towards Linux Mint and let's see what do we have there. This is my Linux Mint and this is how it looks like. So first of all, again, I'll start with the user interface or its interface. Well, we have some of the repositories or directories docked on the desktop. And then we have some of the utilities docked on the bottom right corner of our screen. Like we have time and date, we have volume control, and we have some other things. We'll also have all the system notifications in here. If you just click on your time here, you will have all those notifications. And then we have some of the applications that are docked on the bottom left corner of our screen along with our menu button. Now if we talk about the desktop environment, well Linux Mint comes with three desktop environment, XFCE, Mate and Cinnamon. At the moment I am using Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop environment. Now let's talk about the default applications. So if I just click on my menu button. These are default applications that are available in my Linux Mint. In terms of accessories, we have a lot of applications like we have Archive Manager, Calculator, we have Document Viewer and many more. 
In terms of internet, we have Mozilla Firefox as a default web browser, then Thunderbird Mail as a mail client, and then we have web apps application. In terms of Office, we have all the applications from LibreOffice, and same goes for other categories in here as well. So these were some of the default application, and now I'll talk about the package manager in our Linux Mint. Well, as Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, it also uses the apt package manager. So if I just write here sudo apt update, it will update my system because it uses the apt package manager. Here you can see it has started the process. Now I'll just get out of this. And now let's open software center of our Linux Mint and let's see what do we have in here. So I will just click on this one. So this is the software center or software manager of our Linux Mint. So from here you can download a lot of applications and the good news is Steam is supported by default for our Linux Mint. So in case if you want to play some games, you can download this engine and you can start playing your favorite games. And we also have the categories of applications as we have talked about in our elementary OS. I'll just close this one. If I talk about the release cycle of Linux Mint, well, it supports the long term release cycle. It means you will have the support for five years for all the security and other things into your Linux Mint. On the other hand, in elementary OS, we had rolling release. And now let's open our terminal and let's see how much resources Linux Mint is using at the moment. Well, it is using around 870 megabyte of my RAM. It is not a lot of hardware resources that are being used at the moment. If we compare it over the elementary OS, there is not a lot of difference. Now let's talk about how much resources you should have in order to install Linux Mint. Well, you should have 4 gigabytes of RAM and 20 gigabytes of hard disk space in order to install it into your system. So that was brief introduction and brief information about Linux Mint. And at the end, if I were to conclude, I would say that if you are a beginner and you are planning to start with Linux distribution, then I would say that you should go with Linux Mint and compare to elementary OS because it is easier and simpler to use and it is a very user friendly Linux distribution. On the other hand, if you want a paling interface, a paling colors and a lot of customization options in terms of having different backgrounds and many more things, then you should go with elementary OS. Other than that, there are not a lot of things that this Linux distribution doesn't offer you. In fact, Linux Mint has more default application to offer as compared to elementary OS. Again, at the end, it's all up to you that with which one you want to go. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.